Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. What's happening? How you guys doing? How are things rolling for the Bull Tribe, huh? I hope everybody is safe and secure and happy with life right now. We have a ginormous, huge Taurus turning point coming up on the 28th of October. Uh, it is a full moon in Taurus, and it is also a lunar eclipse. So a lunar eclipse, full moon, Taurus. It's a big deal. Um, if you don't know about it, go on YouTube and just type that in and all kinds of everything will come up, okay? So go check it out. We are going to do a reading for the sign of Taurus for this full moon lunar eclipse on October 28th. Full moons, if y'all don't know, are endings. Um, obviously, they're full. They've grown. It's grown to its whole thing. And now it's going to restart. And that's what uh, this full moon is about. It's about a restart. It's about... It's about the final breakthrough. It's about uh, catching up. If you haven't been paying attention, um, this is your chance. <laughs> if you haven't given it up, given it over, or stepped away from it yet, this is a very, very good time to do that. Full moon and Taurus lunar eclipse. Let's see what these cards have to say, okay? Let's see what they have to say. Uh, I am Taurus, Sun, Pisces, Moon, Pisces, Rising, and Pisces, Venus, but a Taurus, Sun in Western Astrology. On the cusp of Aries, let's see what these cards have to say for the Taurus. Give me a second to channel. I'll lay them all out. I'll really confuse you, and I'll sew together one heck of a good story. All right, let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus? And what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Ooh, the world card. Spirit, what's coming towards this Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly... How do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please tell me where the stopping point is for this particular Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Full moon, lunar eclipse, new cycles, new changes, the end of an era. What does this particular Taurus, ooh, right there, need to know? All right, let's do it, guys. Let's go. One, okay, two, three. Weird. One, two, and three. Ooh, look, it's the moon on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this shit up, right? Moon on the bottom of the deck. Boom. Oh, followed by the two of swords, crossroads, six of wands, success, the queen of cups in reverse, the Eight of Swords all stuck up in your head right there. Hangman in reverse, resistance, right? To the freaking wheel in reverse. And the Eight of Wands in reverse. Ooh, and the Emperor in reverse. Look at that. Look at that. Got the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, all of that is going to make hella sense to us in just a little while, all right? First card out is the two of pentacles wow and death and ending a change a transformation the fool in reverse maybe missing something yeah look to the devil yeah seven of wands in reverse uh hmm. okay justice all right, fair warning. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I most likely will swear, and I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. If any of that upsets you in any way, the neighborhood is too rough, and you should probably go on home right about now. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's happening. Okay, okay, okay. So we open this reading with the Two of Pentacles, okay? 
Two of Pentacles is about balance. Balance, prioritization, in the sense of well-being, okay? It's first card out, it sets the tone for everything. So what this is saying is that um, you there is something that needs to be balanced out inside of you. Something's wrong. Something's wrong, okay? So whoever this is for, this particular Taurus, something is wrong, and they are going to give you the footsteps, the path, to um, straighten it out, okay? All right, because it's followed by death, right? Death is about a, a, cha a massive transformation, an ending, a change, a transformation. So there is a transformation that wants to take root that's going to balance everything out in your life, okay? Judgment, conscious, cognitive decision. A line in the sa sand, absolute, 100% decision for this Taurus, okay? So this transformation is dependent upon a decision by you, okay? A deep, personal decision, okay? To the Hierophant, it's about your commitment. It's about what you're committed to, what you want to spend your life being committed to, how it is that you want to create the four foundation stones of your world, the Hierophant is also a card about someone who deciphers messages from over there, okay? And in, in the old ancient Greek, it used to be like a priest, okay? I, I, I looked that up the other day. I know I said that in my previous reading too, but it's so cool to me. I mean, why call this guy the Hierophant, right? It makes sense to understand why this card is the card of Taurus, by the way, but why it is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is someone, I mean, it's a priest on the card, right? I mean, check that out. It's a priest on the card, okay? Uh, well, yeah, okay, a priest. And this guy's job is to receive and put out, mm -hmm. okay? And priests, really, and, and anybody that that back in the day or in even in the church who claim to get messages from whatever, and tell you that, you know, I got this message and this, they are channelers, whether they're a preacher in a pulpit or a mystic at a carnival, okay? They are channelers, okay? This Hierophant is about channeling what it is that you, it's about channeling what they're trying to tell you, okay, in your guts, what they're trying to tell you, what your soul is trying to tell you, okay? To prioritize and balance out something very, very important in your life, okay? What's it about? Well, the Six of Pentacles, the giving, the receiving, the sharing of life with another or others. This includes your home. It includes your work. It includes the environment around you where you exchange with other people on a regular basis for your sense of well-being, okay? All right, okay. So it's time to balance out and prioritize something. There's a big decision that needs to be made for the foundation of your life, Six of Pentacles, and it's directly related to your sense of well-being, okay? The Fool in Reverse. Fool in Reverse talks about being foolish. It talks about being naive. It talks about being reckless. It talks about being off track. Okay, what are you off track about here, Taurus? What what what's the problem? What do you what needs to be balanced out here? What are you off track about? Well, your shadow self with this devil card right here, your shadow side, your dark side, the side that whispers all the bad things to you. Okay, and I want to point out that that is not love source energy speaking to you that is the other side of things speaking to you trying to keep you trapped up in some kind of self-doubt guilt anger uh, unresolved emotions to keep you in a cycle that will keep you stagnant because if you continue to follow the lessons of life and follow the lessons of the major arcana, you will grow and grow and grow because the whole point of being alive on this planet today right now is your soul ascension, okay? So, off track, why? Um, you're paying a lot of attention to the dark side, okay? You're paying a lot of attention to... to 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse, unmet expectations, stuck, unable to work something out, unable to work hard enough to get what it is that you want. Um, unmet expectations in a relationship, unmet expectations at work, unmet, unmet expectations at home. Okay, you're ruminating on this in the devil energy, and the fool says in reverse says it's taking you off track. Okay, it's taking you off track. Two, the King of Pentacles in reverse on top of that fool in reverse. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse is someone who is disgruntled about life. They're just disgruntled. They don't have what they want. They don't maybe don't have what they need. Um, and they are, this energy is the domineering and controlling energy of that devil card, okay? It's just, just disgruntled. Nothing's working out, okay? The Knight of Cups in reverse comes on top of it and talks about, you know, hopeless feelings, hurt feelings. Um, it talks about a little jealousy as well, um, which could be a part of that dark side right there. The Ten of Wands says that it's a burden. It's a burden. It's a huge burden. You are carrying a huge burden. Something in whoever I'm talking to right here, something in your life just is not going right. It's just not. It's not going right. And the Page of Cups in reverse, again, just like this Prince of Cups in reverse, right, talks about um, an inability to create, okay? Perhaps you're having a hard time creating in your relationship. Perhaps you're having a hard time creating in your environment, your work, your home. But you're just like this, this stagnated, just angry about the way that shit's going down in your life right now. And that's why death and judgment and the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles, it's all asking you. The only way that you are going to detach from your own toxic input into your life, Eight of Wands, oops, I'm sorry, Two of Pentacles, is to balance out this place that you are really stuck in right here, Taurus, this place, this dark shadow self place. I suck. Uh, I can't do anything right. This, whoever this is, is, is maybe like a depression. Okay. Okay. Maybe somebody here is really, really depressed. Okay. And you're all ruminating on the dark shadow. Life is hard. Life is a struggle. I don't even, you know, I mean, yeah. Somebody here is really, really struggling with the um, effort that it takes to live life. Okay? Balance out two of pentacles. The ace of pentacles, there is, uh, it, once you balance this out and step out of this funk that you're in, there is a brand new opportunity. Because see, nothing can grow here. Nothing can grow because these double devil cards right here is a very acidic soil. Nothing can grow in acidic soil, right? You have to have transformation, decisions, the Hierophant. You have to do something to till up this soil and get a little glimmer of hope and get out of this box that you are throbbing in. Eight of Wands and do something different. Make a change. Make a change. What's the change? Well, there's definitely change in the death card because that is a massive, huge, gigantic transformation. Okay? So here's Taurus in this pocket right here, just all fucked up. Okay? <laughs> Taurus is just all fucked up in this top row. All right. Yep, look, seven of wands in reverse, overwhelmed, right? Overwhelmed. Three of cups in reverse, um, third party interference, knight of wands in reverse is um, frustrating you. This third party interference could be um, your job. You have a coworker that annoys the hell out of you. Um, you could have a roommate that annoys the hell out of you. Family in town visiting and um, it's just too much. It's just too much. It's just too much. Maybe they moved into your house. Perhaps this is um, your boss becoming partners with someone else and now you got that to deal with. Perhaps this is your own company, right? And somebody else is coming in to take care of a certain aspect of things. But whatever it is, 
um, relationships, right? Whatever it is, it's got you really, really, really fucked up. Okay. All right. So second row, first card, justice, justice clarified by the high priestess. Okay. Justice is always in your best interest. It is truth. It is clarity. It is accountability for your life, for your journey. It's always in your best interest. What's in your best interest? Major Arcana, the universe says it's in your best interest to be accountable. What is in your best interest? The high priestess to listen to your intuition because it is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to guide you in the direction of your very best and highest good. Okay. Listen to your intuition. It's trying to show you the path of your very best and highest good. It's your soul. Your soul was here from way back in the day. Your soul will be here when this old meat suit finally wears out. It ain't going anywhere. It's eternal. It always has been and it always will be. And those threads from back then and those threads from up there go through this human experience. Okay? They go through this human experience and that same soul lives inside of you today right now. And it is trying to point you in the direction of your best and highest good. But you are so consumed with your own wallering over here that um, you're not you're not paying attention to what it's trying to tell you. What is it trying to tell you? Death. We need to have a transformation here. We need to balance this shit out. Judgment. You have to make uh, decisions about your life, about your future, about your life, about your job, about your living situation, about about everything in your life. Your romantic partnerships, decision day, full moon in Taurus, decisions, okay? It's very important for you because you can't go forward in this wallery mess right here. You just can't. Listen to what your guts are telling you because it will, they will never steer you wrong, ever, ever. Your soul knows the path of your best and highest good. Okay? It's in your best interest to be accountable. How, how will you be accountable? By listening to what your intuition is telling you. Ace of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Because you're not seeing things clearly. You're all consumed with these devil cards over here. And you're not seeing things clearly at all. Ace of Wands in reverse. And, and your motivation and your sense of inspiration is, is wet. It can't ignite because you're so consumed with yourself up here. Unmet expectations, okay? What's your intuition asking you to do? Four of Cups. To take a step back, reevaluate, and reconsider how you're going about doing shit, Taurus. Because it's not working for you, okay? This pocket over here is not going to work for you, okay? You think you got things nailed down, right? You're like, this sucks, this sucks. I know that this sucks. I know I need a change. All of this sucks. But you're manifesting from a negative, empty place. And that only creates negative, empty energy. You are what you think. Your life becomes, your reality becomes what you think. And you can't create what it is that you want to create in this energy right here. And that's why they're telling you, follow, listen, calm your mind and listen to the soft whispering of your soul. Okay? Contemplate, reevaluate the six of wands in reverse, why you are in a position of a lack of success in this particular situation. It's because you haven't overcome a battle. What's the battle? Well, El Diablo over here. This is the battle. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. It's a flesh-based card. The devil represents the flesh in the tarot just as much as the high priestess represents the soul. Okay? Mm-hmm. And you're wallowing in your flesh understanding, your basic limited human understanding of what life is supposed to be. And you're not doing what needs to be done in order for you to overcome this battle and step into a place of success. Look, seven of pentacles in reverse. This is if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. I mean, that is what that card says to the Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. 
You have to, you have to find inspiration in where your soul is leading you and take action. But you're not going to be able to find the inspiration that your soul is leading you to if you stay consumed in this negative energy. Okay. The Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, everything's all upside down right now in your sense of peace, in your sense of harmony, in your sense of possibly a stable relationship, whether it be job um, home, family, romantic, okay? Things are upside down in your life right now. The chariot in reverse. The chariot in reverse says things are upside down in your life right now because you're not putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what it is that you need to do to change things. When you put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to change things, this card flips in the upright, and the universe escorts you to the next to the next stone that you need to step onto okay but in the reverse it can't do its job because you're not doing your job what's the problem the hermit in reverse hermit in reverse is about being withdrawn and disconnected from what your guidance system your internal guidance system trying to speak to you because your mind is so blown up with some sense of failure, some sense of hopelessness that, that you're just totally disconnected from source. Connect to source and you will be shown the way. Okay. Center of the reading here. Center of the reading. Queen of Wands in reverse, Death in reverse, the world, the Page of Pentacles, and that Queen of Wands again. She is here three times, the Queen of Wands. Once in reverse in the center of your reading, okay? Significant, significant. The whole reading is about the inspiration inside of this Taurus. The inspiration, the, the drive, the the hope, the things that move you, that motivate you to procure a good life, okay? And this particular Taurus is feeling a little burnt out right now. A little burnt out, okay? Queen of Wands in reverse in the center of your reading. This talks about um, Taurus's lack of drive, lack of inspiration, lack of aspiration, lack of self-confidence. Um, this is, whoever I'm talking to here is really feeling bad about themselves. Really, really feeling bad about themselves, okay? Death in reverse, Major Arcana, your advice to this situation is a massive internal transformation. Some kind of internal purging needs to go on here. What's the internal purging? Well, the world. You have to come to terms with this particular cycle of your life so it can close and a new chapter of your life can open. This also tells me that if you will come to terms with this, the universe is going to lay out the path for you, Page of Pentacles, to manifest new new situations and circumstances in your life. Um, you may even be thinking about moving, right? Maybe this whole thing is about moving somewhere and you are just struggling with the, I can't, I don't have enough money, I can't do it, how am I going to do it? And then back to judgment and death, right? There is a massive portal just waiting for you to step through as soon as you come to terms with some kind of flesh, Mm -hmm. as soon as you come to terms with some kind of flesh understanding. And that's what needs to be purged, those devil cards. Okay, so this cycle can close. So we can stop this, this delay that's going on in your whole everything once and for all. So you can shut this down and step forward. Mm -hmm. World, bring it to an end. Death, massive internal transformation. Page of Pentacles, the manifestation of something new. Why? What's going on? Well, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, right? The universe wants to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. They do. 
They truly do. So your soul can do what it came here to do. So it can ascend according to the life lessons that you came here to learn. But they are in a state of suspended animation. Why? Hermit in reverse. Because you're disconnected from them. It. Him. Her. Whatever your thing is. Okay? You're disconnected from it. So they're just, they're just hanging out. Empress in reverse. You ain't doing it right, Taurus. This is the card of Taurus, right? Libra as well, but we're talking Taurus right here. And I want to do note that we have Libra up here as well in the judgment card. So anywho, um, the Empress in reverse is some, there, this is a creative block with the universe. The Empress is the Empress because she comes from lesson one and two. And those are the two lessons that they're trying to get you to understand in this reading. And you don't understand them, and now you're in reverse, right? You're out of control of things. Lesson one is the magician. What you think about comes about, period. That's where judgment comes in. What you think about comes about. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, what ruminates in your subconscious mind becomes your reality. And in your subconscious mind, if you are running the fool in your mind constantly about how much you suck or how much the situation sucks and there's nothing that you can do about it, um, you are totally manifesting that amplified into your life. Okay. The second lesson is the high priestess. She's here twice, by the way. The high priestess is, again, your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good to get done what you came here to get done. Okay? The empress is the seedbed of all creation because she points her mind to what her intuition is telling her and she does it. She creates whatever she wants. That's the that's that's the tool. Those are the tool to those are the two tools. Those are the two tools that are the foundation stones of a successful life. Pointing your mind in the direction of your guts and following the breadcrumbs to make it happen. Mm hmm. In the reverse, you're not doing this, Taurus. In the reverse, you're just not doing this. The magician, lesson one. Magician says, what do you want? Be conscious of what you're manifesting. Because this pocket of the downtrodden Taurus up here, that's what you're creating in your life. Focus your inspirations, your aspirations, and your passions on what it is that you want to create in your life under this new full moon on October 28th, come to terms with the way that things were a minute ago to the way that things will be a minute from now. Under the full moon, give it up, give it back, bring an end to it. Death, endings, endings, endings stepping out of this mire this quagmire that you're in out here and manifesting what it is that you want your life to be instead of accepting what it is that your life isn't okay three of swords in reverse come to terms in the mind with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that you're carrying around with you queen of wands and own it own yourself, own it, own, own it, own it all, own it, own it, own it. You make your life what you want your life to be, no matter what, no matter who's in, in, in involved, your life needs to be satisfying to you because if you're not satisfied in your life, how can you pour over satisfaction onto the people around you? It's a deficit. You've got to be full and overflowing. Taurus, you have to have peace in all four of the elements that make up the human nature. The fire, the water, the air, and the earth, right? Your desires, your emotions, your mind, and your sense of well-being. Peace in all of it. Don't, don't trade that for anything. Because you can't be the best that you can be to anyone or anything unless you're peaceful about it okay 
Prince of Swords. Prince of Swords is talking to us about Five of Cups. Okay. Prince of Swords is talking about changing the way that you think and executing something. This is about wrapping your mind around an understanding and executing it in your life. What are you what are you executing? Okay, what what do you what are you what are you rushing away from with a new mindset? The five of cups. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment, all of this big um, this big sad stuff up here that Taurus is trapped in. Okay? Okay? Queen of Swords in reverse. Instead of being angry and salty that things aren't going the way that you're going, or being in denial that maybe you've made decisions that have got you here. Um all that needs to come to a screeching halt, Taurus. A screeching halt. Six of Swords. And leave the mental baggage behind you. Because you're not thinking properly. Which means you're not executing your life property, properly. Wrap your mind around this and execute a decision in your life. Where does it take you? It takes you to the King of Pentacles and the Sun. King of Pentacles in the sun. This is Taurus standing in their power. This is Taurus being good in the gas tank, good in the finances, good in the refrigerator, good in the bank account, good, massive, beautiful sense of well-being to the sun. They're trying to lead you on the path of happiness, success, and vitality for your life. They're trying to show you the way. And it comes from inside of you not from the outside of you, okay? It comes from the inside of you and they need you to overcome this attachment that is a restriction to your growth that has you off course in the fool in reverse. King of Pentacles, the sun, the path of happiness, success, and vitality. They need you to see very clearly where it is that they're trying to lead you. The tower to the three of Pentacles in reverse and the tower in reverse, okay? This has a couple different meanings, all right? And I asked what the root of that tower was, and it is the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the Two of Swords is about crossroads in the mind, right? And you only have two choices in a two. You either change something or you don't, right? So, so at this crossroads in your mind, Five of Pentacles, feeling really insecure about yourself, insecure about your situation, insecure about your job, insecure about your relationships, insecure about a lot of things, okay? So this is Taurus being all mind fucked in a state of insecurity, okay? That's what this tower is. That's what the implosion that this Taurus is having right here. This tower is this right here, this whole first pocket of cards, okay? This this bad place that Taurus is in, that's this tower, okay? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical implosion of anything. Sometimes the tower, most of the time, the tower is poof, inside of ourselves, right? So the tower, implosion of a foundation that you were trying to build upon, but have realized that you cannot build upon anymore. And if you haven't realized that, that's what the tower is about. Anytime anything implodes in your life, inside or out, that is your indication that you need to take a step back and reevaluate the foundation that you're trying to build upon, okay? So that's this for you, Taurus, taking a step back and realizing that how, Empress in reverse, right? How you are trying to build your stuff um, needs to be reevaluated, okay? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is uh, a lack of reciprocation. It is... It is... What this card is saying is if you keep trying to build in this tower right here, you're not going to get any cooperation to build the way that you want to build, okay? Whether it's with teammates, co-workers, um, love partners, family, whatever it is. If you keep in this, you're not going to be able to get to this. So realize that what you're building upon can't be built, okay? That's why the Hierophant is here asking you to figure out what the four cornerstones of your existence are. Are, okay? The tower in reverse. Stop crawling through the rubble. Stop crawling through the rubble. Okay? It's, you cannot build. 
whatever caused this whole thing took you off track got you all up in yourself over here um use it as a personal transformation that's where the inner purging of death and reverse back there comes from right i think in the center of your reading inner purging okay okay ace of swords and see see, see things differently have an aha mental clarity moment ace of wands and right behind that aha moment that clarity that you can't get anything done in the energy that this person arrived in this reading in and immediately following that you are going to be inspired inspired hopefully inspired to go back to your intuition and reevaluate some things and make some serious decisions in your life about how you want to move forward because the universe is promising you a beautiful future a beautiful future but you you you, you got to manifest it you cannot manifest what the universe is trying to offer you in the devil energy you just can't the five of swords holding on to something with a white knuckle grip mindset Okay, white knuckle grip mindset, win at all costs kind of mindset. That's got to go. That's got to go by the wayside, Taurus. It just doesn't work for you. What is that? It's this pocket of cards up here. White knuckle grip, win at all costs. This is the way that this is what I've invested in. This is what I have put my effort into. This is where I've moved my stuff. This is where I, uh, this, this, this has to work. I have to make this work. No, you don't. Because it's not in your best and highest good. It's not. They're trying to lead you in a different direction. But you just keep holding on. Okay? You can get rope burn. Let go. <laughs> Let go. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Talks about being out of sorts in your sense of well-being. Knight of Cups in reverse. Out of sorts in your emotions. Possibly hurt feelings. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, possibly hurt feelings by... A mother figure, possibly your relationship is hurting your feelings somehow if this is a relationship reading for you. Queen of Pentacles also talks about, just like this King of Pentacles over here, um, being in a place where everything is good and solid and secure. Okay, So this little three pockets of cards right here has a lot of different meanings for a lot of different situations. It's followed by the star, your path and your purpose. Your path and your purpose. We're trying to lead you. We're trying to guide you. We're trying to show you how to live the very best life that you possibly can. Queen of Swords in reverse. But your mind is so out of control that you're manifesting a shit show. The world. Bring it to a closure. Bring it to an end. The end of this cycle. Second time the world card's here, right? Full moon end of a cycle, bring it to an end once and for all so we can all move forward. Judgment. By creating, by making a conscious cognitive decision, just like at the beginning of your reading. Second card in the beginning of your reading. A conscious, cognitive, serious judgment decision in your life. About what? About Stepping out of the consumption of your human understanding of things and into the soul understanding of things. Okay? If this is someone that is lacking direction or passion somehow, find those fibers that you are sewn from because that is what you're supposed to be doing. Yep. If you're a lawyer and you want to be a photographer, if you're a lawyer, you hate your job and you want to do nothing but take pictures on the beach all day, that's what you need to be doing. And don't worry about how you're going to live your life. Because if you step into your soul path with pure intentions, your needs will be met. You will be presented with the resources, the situations, and the circumstances to do what you need to do to get what it is that you need to get to live a happy and peaceful life. Mm -hmm. Just that easy. Let go of that. Judgment. Conscious cognitive decision to bring this cycle of your life to a close and step in to a new cycle of your life. Three of Swords, come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain. Prince of Wands, take action. Nine of Swords in reverse to come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain of, of a lack of success. This whole reading is about a lack of success for this Taurus. Three of Wands in reverse, um, short-sighted. Right? You can't see the forest through the trees and it's obstacles to your long-term goals. 
seven of pentacles in reverse. You keep doing it the way you've always done it. You're going to get it the way you've always gotten it. To the princess of cups and the empress and the high priestess. Okay? Princess of cups is about emotional growth. Come to terms with yourself. Stand up. Stand up out of this tower, right? You're all on your knees, all skinned up, broken fingernails, hair looking all crazy, covered in ashes, snot running down your face, trying to make something work and it's not supposed to work. Let go of it. Grow emotionally. The Empress, you doing it right. Remember the Empress in reverse is right there. You manifesting according to your intuition to create the kind of life that you want for yourself. Stop being distracted by the devil. Remember, they want to keep you distracted so you don't do what your soul came here to do. Just like they do everybody, right? They keep everybody distracted with silly bullshit so nobody focuses on the real reason and the real things that we need to get done here. Right? The Empress, step into your power. Be the seedbed of creation for everything in your life. High Priestess, we will show you. We will lead you. We will guide you. We will show you. Okay? Okay? Four of Swords, reevaluate. Bring, bring some stability to your mind. Sort through it. Six of Swords in reverse. The mental bullshit that's holding you back. Six of Swords in the upright. Leave it behind to the nine of wands and fight the good fight because you're not going to be you're not going to win in the end with what it is that you're trying to do here whatever this is for whoever this is for you're not going to win in the end and they are begging you to please 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 step out of your flesh into your soul so you can see with new eyes the path to happiness success and vitality in this human existence Judgment. Random. It was uh, actually just random card. Um, that is in uh, third time that judgment's been here. Third time. Okay. Now, the bottom of the deck. What was on the bottom of the deck? Well, all of everything that we just talked about. I told you it would make a hell of sense at the end. Okay. Let's just buzz through them real quick. So the Ace of Wands, inspiration, new beginnings. Inspiration, new beginnings. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Stop wasting your time. Eight of Cups in reverse. Stop wasting your emotional energy. The Emperor in reverse. Stop trying to control things. Eight of Wands in reverse. You're only causing delays. The Wheel in reverse. Delays. The Hangman in reverse. Delays. Eight of Swords being all tied up in, 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 your, in your mind. Queen of Cups in reverse. Out of control of your emotions. Six of Wands, but still trying to create success in your life. This is why you can't create the kind of success that you're looking for, whatever that is for this particular person. That's why. Two of Swords, again, at a crossroads. Big, huge crossroads. Two choices. Stay or go. Change or don't. To the moon. Last card in the deck. Bottom of the deck. The moon. Taurus. Full moon. Lunar eclipse on the 28th. The moon is a card about the proverbial struggle of every single human being, no matter the situation or the circumstances. The moon is about the struggle between that which you know to be true inside of you and that which you do not want to accept as the truth. And that goes back to the tower. This particular Taurus is holding on to a mindset of the way that things should be because they have put a lot of effort into it being that way and it's not working out. And this particular Taurus is holding on to that instead of standing up, brushing themselves off and carrying on with themselves, looking to build something new in their life. Okay? The struggle between that which you know to be true, when you tap into your intuition, you will see, you will know what that is for you, and that which you don't want to be true. What don't you want to be true? That you are wrong. <laughs> that you are wrong. This isn't for you. This isn't the way that it's supposed to be. Let go of this flesh 
attachment that is restricting your growth, whatever it could be, a bazillion things for a bazillion different people. Self-analyze that for you. Let go of this. Transform into what it is you want your life to be instead of trying to force what is not happening. Instead of trying to force what is not happening. Okay? There you go, Taurus. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm opening my channel up to memberships. Okay? So you can subscribe to the tribe membership um, on my YouTube channel. And if you subscribe to my membership, in turn, I am going to promise you a weekly reading just for members, just for members of my channel, not subscribers, the people who joined the tribe, the club, okay? For the members only, you will get one reading a week at noon on Tuesdays, every single week. If you join the club, <laughs> you can count on one reading a week at noon on Tuesdays from me, just for the people who are members and concentrated and focused on that small group of people instead of like a bazillion God only knows how many people would at some point maybe watch this video, okay? So that's what I'm doing. We're doing the Taurus tribe. <laughs> Pisces, I can only do it for Taurus right now because I don't like obligations. So this is a big, huge, gigantic step for me to promise with all of my heart and soul that I will give you a reading once a week by noon on Tuesdays um, if you want to become part of the Bull Tribe, okay? All right, all those details are in the description box or wherever YouTube puts them. I don't know, but I'll try to I'll try to make it handy for you, okay? All right, you guys, that was your reading. Take advantage of this beautiful new, new cycle that's about to open up for Taurus, okay? Namaste.